to the stunning Biala Nyala. With my morning cup of coffee in hand, Asha and I took a stroll around the garden to do a little birding. <laughs> Did you get a problem? Mm. Is it a petalia? Mm. It's a green winged petalia. They're beautiful. I love the petalia. That ostrich is fine on her. He's following us. He's The petalia is beautiful, eh? Yeah. Where did it go? Beautiful. But he's still around the world. It's got like this piece in there. It's got like this gold, gold. After some intense garden birding, we filled up our coffee mugs and sat around the fire that was still going from the night before. I think that's a bag of for my Good morning from a beautiful Biala Nyala. Nice and fresh this morning. But when we came out for our cup of coffee, there was already a fire going, which is lovely. <laughs> already, while we were having our cup of coffee, saw little tiny little birds hopping around in the trees above. I called Rix to come take a picture of them to see what it is. And already a first lifer, a tick. A tick. A tick. No, not, not a tick, a bird. <laughs> It's a burnt neck eramamela. Eramamela. A burnt neck eramamela. <laughs> well, still learn how to say it, Rex. It's okay. Eramamela. <laughs> but so stunning. Really excited to explore a bit. Oh. See more what Yala Yala has to offer. Maybe go on a little drive now, now. Walk around. Just enjoy it, yeah. Yala Yala have a lot of birding groups that come here. Yeah? because it's so nice and central in between Manioni, it's 20 kilometers from Makuze. Um, yeah. There's so many activities around the area that you can do, there's a lot. So a lot of people come stay here yeah, um, as a group because it's a nice place for a group to come and stay. Yeah, it's and amazing. then they tour the areas and so on. And birding here yeah, is absolutely amazing. Mm. This area is really fantastic for birding. There comes the ostrich. <laughs> yeah, the ostrich was at the window this morning, Rex. Pecking away at the window, coming to say hello. <laughs> so cute. But yeah, really so lovely, yeah. No, it's gonna be an amazing, lucky day. Definitely. After the busyness of Lois Harvey, we had a wonderful, it was actually quite a busy day at Makuse as well. Yeah, busy it's com the day. compared to what we had at Makuse before, it was pretty busy. Yeah. But yeah, so special still. But it was still. <sighs> Yeah. But oh, this is more hard. <laughs> yeah. So let's hard. With a burnt neck aroma mela mela. Aroma mela. Mm. Okay. After watching the resident sunbird fixing up her nest, we decided to take a little stroll around the property.
was never the one to write up a song. The two local ostriches thought we looked lonely and decided to join us on our walk. Conversations all, cause I've always been told that things will unfold if you keep on waiting. But then you came along. Why does um, Impala run faster than Inyala? Because they're slightly smaller. And thinner. And they're thinner. thinner lighter and no, that can run for also longer than any animal. We dropped off the ostriches at the lodge and went for a little drive. While on our drive, we had one of the coolest experiences of my life. This is a moment I will never forget. While capturing these fire finches, we saw some feathers flying across the road and looked for where they were coming from. In a tree right next to the road, we saw this gaber busy devouring his lunch. We have never seen the black morph of a gaber, so this was a pretty special sighting. We are on a lovely little afternoon drive Yad Biala Nyala. So far today we've gotten a couple of lifers. Um, I think we told you guys this morning about the burnt neck Eremamela. Eremamela. <laughs> and then we got the grated flycatcher and a pale flycatcher, which is pretty cool. And then we've just seen the black or the morph Gaber Gossel. Yeah, the dark morph. Amazing. Yes, the dark morph, which is so cool. It's something that you really don't see often. So seeing that um, the black morph of the, the Gaber Gossok is really something spectacular. Yeah, so happy. And that massive, massive journey of giraffes was also pretty cool, ladies. Yeah, that was, I think I found 13 or 14 giraffes. Yeah, pretty, pretty cool. We arrived back at the lodge with a fire crackling away.
enjoyed the sun setting, the fire burning, and obviously a glass of Amarula. After watching the sun go down, Kaylee suggested we jump on the back of the bucket for a night drive. We were actually searching for the Artvark that has an active burrow in the area. We didn't find the Artvark, but we did enjoy the beautiful supermoon to end off a fantastic day at Biala. Thank you for watching day 11 of our trip. If we misidentified any bird species, please drop us a comment below. If you enjoyed this video, please like and subscribe. We will see you in the next vlog. A burnt neck, aroma mela. Aroma mela. Okay. Good morning. <laughs> What's better than to wake up with a fire, Rex? <laughs> you love a fire, though. Yeah. <laughs> so cool. I think it's yeah, it's better than to wake up on fire. <laughs> what? Nobody's. Yes, <laughs> I hope nobody's waking up on fire, but really special. Mm. Oh, really? Which one is Beatrice and which one is Dolly? Dolly has the water tip of the wing. Okay. So the middle yes. one's Dolly, other one's. Can you record it? Can you specify recording?